Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tenerda to Human, and welcome to the special games edition of Medieval 2 Total War. Where today we are on the America's Expansion Pack, and we're going to look at how you can make France a playable faction. Indeed, France are normally one of those emergent factions who turn up to cause some chaos. But indeed, whilst we will be going into the game files, we'll also be doing a little bit of looking at the history. Case in point would be the town over here, Calusa because when we go and take that as the French clear victory for us, we will get Fort Caroline, which was an important early settlement of the French down here in Florida. And of course, a bit of role play is always a bit of fun, I think. So we need to kind of decide where we're gonna start our campaign from. Now, I've decided Louisiana is gonna be the place that we begin our little campaign from. Now, obviously, Whilst Fort Caroline is a key key settlement in about the 1560s, settled by the French, um, I think we want to actually leave that because we will get this event a little bit later on where the troops appear on the coast here. Louisiana is obviously a little bit of a later settlement of the Americas, but I think it makes an interesting spot to begin. It kind of gives you a bit of distance from England, who I've left in from the previous video, and I think it kind of gives you a little bit of room to poke towards the Apaches in the West too. There's kind of a historical nod here, but I think it lets you kind of play the game in a bit more of an open style. So I'm going to pick that as my kind of starting point. And without any further ado, let's head into the game files and let's make this happen. So much like with the English, to get to the Americas campaign, you need to go inside mods and into America's inside there. We will go into data as last time and we want to go into world, maps, campaign, imperial campaign and into the Desca underscore strat. Once inside Desca strat then we are going to take France and move them from non-playable to playable. Now in fact this is actually the exact same file I use for the England video just to add some clarity for you. So we are going to play this with both England and France from the start of the game. So if I search for France, I will be able to find the section which has them in. Now underneath England, which obviously, as I said, is still in there from before, I'm going to get rid of the dead until resurrected. And then obviously I can fiddle with Denari if that is indeed what I want to do. As ever, the first thing I want to do is find myself a region and I'm going for Choctaw. Now, this one should be nice and simple. I can cut that out, make sure I get my spacing correct, and head back up towards France, where I can simply paste that in underneath there. So, we now have ourselves a settlement as well. Next, we need ourselves a faction leader, and normally I would just take this from another faction. It would indeed be really easy to take it from the English above me here. But in case you haven't already done that, we will go and search for Spain. By doing it this way, we just try and make sure that we have a minimum chance of making any mistakes. So we're going to go take that character there, copy him and paste it back down into the section for France. So we can then, as we go down here, paste that underneath and we now have ourselves our faction leader. We'll just get rid of the battle model that is not necessary because that's for Spain specifically and obviously from here what we need to do is start trying to find out what our coordinates should be. Finding the correct coordinates is much easier on the America's expansion because you don't actually need to know the exact units that are there. It's much more useful this file because you'll find that all of the different rebel units are listed with a reference to which particular region they are in. So all of these lads are in Chocotor. We need to highlight the coordinates there, take those and then get rid of those units because obviously we don't want the rebels to spawn there themselves. We can then head back up to France and replace those coordinates with our lovely shiny new ones. Just make sure you get your spacing right. Just check there is indeed a comma afterwards. So let's keep the formatting consistent. In order to find the army we need, we're going to go out of Deska underscore strat and into campaign underscore script. This is in the same subfolder, Imperial Campaign, as we were just in. Once inside the file, you can simply use Control F for find and go and find France. It's only a few clicks, it takes you to France Arrives, where it will list the army that spawned 
around 20 to 30 turns into the game. Indeed, it's supposed to be the French arriving in Jacksonville in the 1560s. Of course, in real life, the Spanish would go on to sack the town and the French would pretty much be kicked out of Florida. But for us, we want to maybe change a bit of that. So we're going to take this army here from the New World Bodyguard unit there. And we're going to copy and paste that back into the desk underscore strat file. Once back inside desk underscore strat, we're going to click underneath army there and paste in our new marvelous army. Although we will have to do a little bit of fiddling around. Now, I don't actually want all of these, so I'm going to get rid of quite a few of these units. I possibly just want to leave myself with a couple of these New World Curiouses, a couple of the Musketmen, and a couple of the Crossbowmen. That'll be absolutely fine. We'll just bring all of those guys across so that the formatting is perfectly sensible and that the game doesn't muck around with that. So once we've done this, you can make any little changes you want to. I tend to give one experience to the bodyguard. We may well indeed want to change the age or something like that. Maybe let's have him nice, 32 years old, bit of a younger lad. And indeed, we need to change the names. At the moment, it'll come up blank because this is a Spanish name, not a French one. In order to pick the name, we need to head out of Imperial Campaign and back into Data. And down in here, you'll find the Desca underscore names file. In here, it's a simple case of searching for France. Ignore the Francesco and Francescas that get in the way. Make sure you get to France. Obviously, we want to call him something ridiculous like Pierre, just to be typical. Uh, you've got Bernard over there, which is well, Bernard, which is rather marvellous. Is Pierre actually in the list? Indeed it is. Yeah, Pierre's there, which is great. So we can go with Pierre, and we obviously need to pick a surname to go along with it. Well, Pierre, you don't actually need a surname. You only actually need a first name. So we'll probably just pick Pierre for now. So back in our file over here, we're going to paste Pierre in. He's a named character, he's male, he is our leader. And that is absolutely fine. I think we're happy with this. We can save this up and we can head on into the game. Here we are then in Louisiana. Yes, and yes, American Tom is very much going to be put away. I'm not going to carry on with that accent, I promise. Louisiana, though, clearly has been renamed from its lovely Choctaw camp as it was before. We saw a similar thing over with Fort Caroline in the intro to the video here, and I kind of like the little historical nods made by the renaming of the towns. It's quite nice, really, isn't it? But of course, Louisiana, whilst it would eventually become a key part of the French-American holdings, um, well, before being sold to the Americans in 1803, realistically, their early settlements are up in the north with Jacques Cartier, taking what is modern day known as Quebec. Of course, Quebec City was set up in the mid 16th century. Um, now, we obviously saw that Fort Caroline would be a key taking a few decades after that. Um, so, if you do want to do a bit of role play, I suppose it would very much be the kind of region I've given you over here, Louisiana, but. That really came much later. So I think a bit with the English, it's kind of a bit more of a what if. What if they managed to have a little bit more of a conquering power down in the south? What if they managed to hold off the Spanish who came to attack Fort Caroline? Indeed, I think what happened when I've been playing my little playthrough here is that the moment I took this and these, these troops came, my money completely plummeted because I've suddenly got to pay for all these lads. And the upkeep actually has been made fairly low just because the size of the units aren't particularly big. Even so, it is a bit expensive. So I think if you were to do this yourself, swinging straight down to Cuba would probably be a very sensible idea. Although the Spanish do seem to hold a full stack there. So bear that in mind. Yeah, I think if you're going to role play, it's going to be a bit more of a what if. What if it went the other way for the French? I think that could be a fun way of playing it. Even as an Englishman, I can admit that might be interesting. That just about sums up for today then, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed our little dabble into playing as New France in the Americas campaign. Certainly, it's been really nice to go on to the Kingdom's expansions. It was, it's such great value. I mean, it was really cheap back in the day, and there are four magnificent big campaigns that you can get on with. Um, I really couldn't recommend it highly enough. So yeah, a bit of a shout out to Abongo in the comments for you suggesting this. Indeed, if you do have any comments or suggestions, or indeed queries, do put them in the comments below. I really do appreciate it when you tell me how you've gone and taken this video and maybe you've done something slightly different to role play it a certain way. Indeed, if you just have a question or a suggestion for future videos. 
Um, so do add those below if you have anything to add. Of course, I will put a link to the unpacking video for a basic modding video for Medieval 2 because some of you might just need that to remind you how to unpack the files. But anyway, I will leave you for now. I'm Thomas, this is Tenez the Human, and this has been a short little games guide to playing as New France. Thank you, and goodbye. By Jave, it is a marvellous, marvellous day, spiffing one would say. Any one for pimps. He has seen the light, he's joined the anarchy, he is cruel and cunning, and you know what, he likes a little drink, and I think that's marvellous. La 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 la, chop your way through the peasants. One shot! No!